Hello loves and welcome back to another video here on Pumpkin and Gray or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is one that I know we all look forward to. Every single year it is time for halfway to Halloween. I'm so excited. I feel like I could like burst right now. My energy is through the roof. All the good vibes today. I am surrounded by so much Halloween. And I think the reason why Halfway to Halloween is so amazing too is because if you're in the spooky community, you know that even though it might be halfway to Halloween, we're really about one month out before all the stores start surrounding us with everything that makes our soul feel good. So we might have halfway to go until the actual day of, but that's okay. I don't count down to Halloween day anyways. I'm not a believer in that. I don't want it to get here and be over. As much as I love the day, I want everything that comes before it and we are so close. So today I have a huge box full of Halloween things that I cannot wait to share with you. We got our iced coffee and our little amazing iced coffee koozie from Salem Style. Look how adorable that is. I love it. And by the way, it's a total game changer if you are an iced coffee girly because there's no more condensation on the hands. My hands are dry. My counter is dry. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, I will link her down below. Okay, so I have tons, so we're gonna just jump on in. Everything is from Oriental Trading. Now they are sponsoring something over on Instagram, but this is not part of the collab, but when a box of Halloween arrives at my doorstep for a Halloween, halfway to Halloween celebration, I obviously have to do a Halloween haul, and I have some of the cutest, most nostalgic, Halloween vibes in this box. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I had to start off with the cutie that is behind me because he's perfection in a pinata. So last year I got the big jack-o'-lantern pinata and I loved him. But I had to jump in and share this year's pinata because he is just as cute, if not cuter, because of the legs. He's probably cuter. So he's a little pushed in in the front here from the packing, but once he's full of candy, it'll come out. I already like tested that and it'll work just fine. But I love him. As soon as I saw him online, I added him to the cart so quickly. His little legs are just everything. And I've always been really impressed with Oriental Trading's Halloween pinatas, all of them. They've got whatever theme you need. But they have really cute ones. They have a Frankenstein right now that I'm gonna be getting for a different Halloween video coming up. That'll include you all. Um, they still have the jack-o'-lantern. There's so many, but he is absolutely amazing. Let's give him a little close-up moment because he's just so good. Doesn't he just make your like 90s heart happy? Okay, next I got an entire package of these amazing witch hats. So, they come like this. You all know we've had these in so many different shapes and sizes growing up, I'm sure, and I still use them for my kids' birthdays, but it's just one of these good old fashioned spin it around and then put the little tape together. I'm gonna to keep the rest in the package because I am going to be doing an entire halfway to Halloween party for my kids. These ones are so nice because they come with a little string during actual Halloween when I decorate and I hang witch hats from my ceiling. I use like the real witch hats, but they don't have the string, so I have to poke it through, whatever. For a party, these are so nice because like who wants to mess with that when you're just decorating for something? These would be perfect for like a bachelorette, like a spooky bachelorette party, a witch theme party. I'm gonna use it for the kids one, but I mean, you can't go wrong. It's a black witch hat. It is so cute and fun. Just gonna leave them blurred in the background because they're adorable. Okay, next I stocked up on Halloween plates because I've mentioned this before. If you are new here though, I tend to collect Halloween items and then put them in a bin in my room and I will get things out when we just need a little Halloween serotonin in our life. So my kids love Halloween just like we do and I love doing like random Halloween breakfast, Halloween movie nights, which you've seen here on this channel, so you can never have enough Halloween plates. The first ones I got are this cute little jack-o'-lantern mummy. He is so precious. I love his little expression. Look at that. So adorable. He has a little spider here at the top, his little stem. He's so cute. He'll be perfect for like little Halloween cinnamon buns. And then 
And then I got the cat because I knew my Salem girl was going to love this and she literally freaked out when she opened these. That's why they're open. She couldn't wait. She like took scissors and was like, can I open them? This is a little Franken cat. So adorable, the little bolts, all the little details with the candy. If you don't know, we have three cats. Our youngest cat is Frankenweenie. So this was like so appropriate for him. Frankenstein cat, it's him on a plate. Okay, next are my favorites because you all know I will take something witchy and magical over absolutely anything else. The cauldron plates are so good. The little green and the bubbles just oozing out of the potion inside. These are precious. I love the little stars on here. I really love everything about it. The size is so good for a dessert plate. It just makes my little witchy heart so happy. And I will probably not use these ones for the halfway to Halloween party and save them instead for October because I love a good witch themed like girls brunch or even just something for Sale and I. They will definitely get used. But I wanna save these ones for when like my whole house is decorated for Halloween because then it's even witchier. Okay, next is a big old box. I wanted to show you first how many come in here. There's a lot, there has to be what, 12 or 18? There's 12, there's a dozen in here, okay? I am so excited to have these because the possibilities are literally endless. You can use them for drinks, you can use them for your own beverages or a party for drinks. You can put little snacks in them. Look how amazing these are. You can do so many things with these, I just die. They are plastic, you could put like a little brownie in here, like a dirt cake brownie with the worms sticking out. You could create some sort of a potion to put in here, like an edible one, so it looks like something is oozing out of the cauldron. But I couldn't love these more when I tell you we will use these for so many different reasons. I mean it. You've got the three little legs on the bottom, the handle, and it's a cauldron mug. I have a cauldron mug that I love from Target that I've shared before. But these are so good for kids party purposes, Halloween movie nights in. Like, my kids are gonna love to just have their drinks out of this all spooky season long. So you could use some for a party, keep some for your house. Like, like I said, it comes with 12 of them. I'm so excited that I'm finally filming this because I'm gonna take three of them immediately and put them up with the rest of my cups so that my kids can use them just like right now in life and I can, but I cannot wait to fill these with something. Honestly, there's so many ideas on Pinterest and I really am going to film some Halloween treat videos this year, so stay tuned and maybe I will use these so that I can give you guys some ideas. Okay, next are these cups that just feed my soul. If you're like me and you are always drinking a coffee or a tea, these are so fun to have during the spooky season or for halfway to Halloween. There's 12 of them in here and they're just the little insulated cups. We've seen these before, but the classic jack-o'-lantern is just so good, and I am so happy that they went with the black lid because it really ties it all in. I will be drinking all of the beverages out of this. Absolutely adorable. So good for like the morning car runs when it's October or even September and it's getting a little chilly outside and you want to have your hot coffee to drop the kids off at school. Like talk about a mood booster to get to make your coffee in this and hit the road. I'm so pumped, I'm gonna take them Halloween hunting. I'm not opening them yet because I am gonna save these. But they're perfect, they're just everything that you could need in a little insulated cup. And I cannot wait to use them. All right, next is a game that I got for my kids to play. I have so many of these types of games from Oriental Trading and I love them. So fun, this is just like a classic, it's gonna be hard to do one-handed, but like, you know, throw and stick the ball on the jack-o'-lantern. Each one of his little body parts has a different number on it. So it makes it more fun. Like for my boys, they will enjoy this so much more because it's a little bit more competitive. You can keep score. The eyes are 50, the nose is 100, and the cute little grin is 20. This is so perfect if you're hosting a Halloween party for family or friends. Honestly, you could turn this into an adult game with drinks, but it's so cute for any sort of a kid's party. If you are hosting a Halloween party at your kid's school. This is such a great easy activity for that too. Like no setup, no prep work. The kids will love it. They can earn a little prize after. And he's so adorable. He's a really good size. I think he's the perfect size 
for a Halloween party. And he does have a little hole here too in case you wanted to hang him, which would be really cute. All right, next, I'm gonna open these as well. I got a, oh, okay, okay, there's bats. It like opened down the middle and there's like little bats all over my floor now. All right, so this was a pack that had a variety of different little Halloween stuffed animals. And I was so excited about these because my thought was perfect prize for a kid's party. So when we're doing the Halloween party, everybody will get to take home a little stuffed animal. First, we have the cute little bat with his purple wings. I love this so much. Let me pull him down the way he's supposed to be. And the little witch hat with the moon. Love the moon detail, obviously. Never enough moons in my life. Then we have this little guy. He is so cute. His little like pig nose, I die. And this little jack-o'-lantern body. These are such a cute size to either put in a goodie bag, give out, like I said, as a prize, a reward for playing a game. You really can't go wrong. I just think they're freaking adorable. And it also comes with the little vampire frog. So cute. He's got his little cape on the back here. Look at his little feet down here. Like so adorable. I just love him, his little red bow tie. Really, really cute little variety pack. I love things like this. I just do. I just people are like, you don't need things like that. It's excessive. But my kids love stuff like this. Okay, so next is a huge variety pack of items that will hang from the ceiling. I love things like this. That's why I still love balloons. You just can't go wrong with things that are like space fillers during a party. It really drives home the theme. In here are a set of these little fans that everybody loves in black and purple and orange. And then you also get a bunch of different Halloween characters. So here are two of the bats that come in the kit. You've got one that does not have a face, one that has this really adorable little face, and they all have the little bodies, just like the witch hat, where you're just going to take it and you're going to bend it over, and it just adds so much. This is so cool too because it is on both sides, which I can appreciate. I hate when I order stuff and it's one-sided and it's something that hangs because it's like, Hello, it's obviously going to move and I don't want you staring at something that's blank. So there's that one. Got this one that does the same thing on both sides. Okay, so as I'm looking at this kit, I forgot. It's actually called the Boo Crew Mega Decorating Kit. So you have a bunch of things like that that puff out, but then it also comes with a banner and a bunch of pieces that you could either like, I tape them on my wall. Like when my kids have a birthday party and I get one of these sets, I tape the big items to the wall because again, it really sets the mood. I have a big like white wall here next to my dining room table and it's so cute when it's just covered in whatever the theme is. So it also comes with this banner. Oh my God, it's so cute. I haven't seen this yet. So it's got the eyeball. It's just one of these. I'm not gonna like unravel it all, but it's hooked together. Candy, candy corn in different colors. Oh my God, look at this one. The little ghost lollipop oh my god it's like a candy theme Ooh, here we go that eyeball and that candy oh my god and they're all different this is adorable i love this so cute so that's perfect for like obviously draping on the wall draping on the entryway and then it comes with a bunch like i said of just these little cardboard cutouts that you could put all over your wall. And I'm telling you, it is such a good tip when you're hosting a party. Look at him. Oh my God, my little 90s heart is dying over these. And this is all part of that Boo Crew, so you're gonna notice that a lot of it matches the plates. Like here's the jack-o'-lantern. He matches the plate perfectly. There's so much in here, you guys. Okay, I was so excited when these straws came in. I literally like squealed because I just didn't know what they were going to look like in person and I was blown away. Every now and then you can order these types of straws and you'll get them in the Word. Like you can't read it and that defeats the whole purpose. But these Boo straws are a 10 out of 10. They are so bright and orange. I die over the color. And they're just so clearly written out in the cursive that there's no denying that it says boo, which I love. Like, look at that. Are you kidding me right now? It's just so good. 
It's so good. Kids are gonna love these. Adults would love them with alcoholic drinks. It's just so fun. I also got a big old pack of the clear, like solo cup jack-o'-lantern ones because again, this clear orange is so bright and vibrant that I'm loving it for parties. I can use these, of course, for halfway to Halloween, save them for any time during spooky season. They're really just like the perfect cup for whatever your Halloween theme is. Okay, next up, they have these skeleton fork and spoon sets and I added these to the cart so quickly. So, so you get 16 of them in here, but I'm just gonna open up one of each to show you. How fun is this? Just, I'm so happy right now. I am so happy right now. You can ask my husband, this box arrived and my whole mood just, oh, it's like I could get goosebumps talking about it to you guys. If you're a Halloween person, you already know. I don't have to sit here and try to explain it, but it's just like the vibes and the energy and the elevated mood that comes from being around Halloween stuff is exactly why I'm in love with the whole spooky season. It's just nothing that fills my soul quite as much. Like I'm looking at these right now, they're just so simple and I, I get true happiness from them. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, so this is the little set. You will get 16 of each. This is your little spoon. Look at the details on there. Oh my God. Like all the way down to the little joint area there. And then there's his face. And then they come with the forks that are the little skeleton hand. <laughs> oh, it's just so good. It's just so good. And so then together you have the perfect little set. So just like imagine your kids or your friends coming in and they're like, oh, I need a fork. And you're like, oh, they're right over there. And this is what they're using to eat with. Like, stop it right now. I die. I also grabbed two sets of these adorable Hey Boo napkins, because they're just precious. There was no other reason. You just need napkins when you're throwing a party. And these ones are absolutely adorable. Okay, I also had to grab this set because it was just too good. There's 72 Halloween plastic picks in here and I just loved the designs. You really can't go wrong with these either. They are obviously perfect for like a charcuterie board so that your guests can use them to pick up like a square of cheese or a pickle or an olive or whatever. But I also love putting things like this in my cupcakes or my muffins just to spook them out a little bit. So we have the jack-o'-lantern, so cute with his little face lit up. There is, sorry, it's hard not to make these noisy and messy because I have to dig through to the other ones. The little bat is so cute with this little green face. Like look how detailed they are. It literally has eyes and a smile on this teeny little piece of plastic. I love that. We have the ghosty with his little shocked expression. So cute. And then the spider. That's another bat. Let me find the spider. There's the spider with his really creepy, nasty curved legs and his yellow glowing eyes. So again, just freaking adorable. I will definitely use these for multiple reasons. Glenn and I are usually the people that bring the charcuterie if we're going somewhere or whether we're hosting. Glenn used to be an executive chef, not that you have to be that to make boards, but you should see some of his boards. Like that's where the love of it comes in. He's so good at it with the brie and the hot honey and the dips and we love making them. So I will definitely be using these for Halloween parties for the boards, for my kids' Halloween movie nights. You know I do kids' boards. Probably like once a week I make a little kids' charcuterie board. So cute for that. And then I'll put a bunch behind me where my baking stuff is so that when Sale and I are baking this fall, we can stick these in there. I also grabbed this little cutie, which is not so much my personal taste, but it went with the theme for the party. So I will sit her out for the party and then she's gonna find a home in my daughter Salem's room she has some spooky shelves where we keep like things from the Good Witch and some Salem books that we have. And I just thought this is perfect for a little girl or a little boy's room. So magical, keeps the vibes going all year. Had the star, just so cute, so cute. Okay, so the next game that I got, I am so excited for. It screams vintage Halloween. It comes like this. So basically it's like a little mini kid's putt-putt. 
All of the characters are in this kind of upside down, like horseshoe U shape. And it's pretty self-explanatory. They're going to use these to hit the ball through the Halloween characters. I have to open this and share the characters with you all because they're just so vintage looking. This guy right up front is who sold me on this entire thing. Like, look at him. Doesn't he just seem so like 80s? I feel like these are so 80s looking and I, I couldn't be happier with them. So precious. So the kids will try to hit the ball right through here. You can obviously make a little setup. You could do just one, like you make it through, get a hole in one, you get a prize. Or you can do the entire setup. They are numbered. So you could really have them going like a true putt putt. Look at the Frankenstein. He is so precious and have them go through a little path that you create in your front yard or your backyard and a little ghost. And then the jack-o'-lantern, so cute. Okay, and I also grabbed from that Boo Crew line all of these little character setups. They just come with a little piece that crisscrosses and you stick them in there and you can set them up on your table. It has the ghost from the napkins, the Franken cat, this really cute little skeleton guy. He just makes me so happy. He's holding his own head up, amazing. This little skeleton holding his own head up. I don't know if I just shared the werewolf or not, but he's so cute to me too. So those will be able to go all over the table for the party. When I was picking out the Boo straws, I saw that they also had these ghost ones, which I'm also gonna leave one out now. Look how cute these little clear ghost straws are. I just, it's the details for me, guys. I'm gonna repeat the same words this whole video. I'm sorry, but it's just the details. Like everything, it's so easy to make things feel special. You know what I mean? And that is what I try to do for my own life by romanticizing the simple things in life. It's what I try to do for my kids. It is a literal simple iced coffee with this inside instead. It is a regular dinner, but it's the start of spooky season. So you put these in your kids' drinks. They're just amazing. They're so good. And these will last and you can reuse them. Look at the little curve at the bottom. I also grabbed these napkins. I'm not gonna open them, but you can see them through here. They are little witch hats. And I thought that these would be so cute to pair with these plates. Because then you're just really driving home the witch theme. Just like I said about the plates, I am going to wait to open and use these until closer to spooky season so I can do some sort of like a witchy girls brunch. I just, the best. Okay, the last game that I got for the kids is jack-o'-lantern potato sacks so that they can do like the good old fashioned potato sack races like we used to do when we were kids. These are so cute. Oh, I was hoping there was gonna be a picture. Oh, there it is, okay, so I don't have to open it. This is what it is going to look like and it is a full blown potato sack so that the kids can race across the yard while looking like jack-o'-lanterns. And actually my thought for this was, I got a bunch of them, how cute to do a kid's party where your kids and their friends come in costumes because it's just so 90s to me to have like a witch and a ghost and a vampire and whatever they're gonna be for Halloween, like hopping across the yard in a jack-o'-lantern potato sack race. It's just like everything that's right in the world in that moment and I'm so excited to watch them use these. I also got these adorable little Boo Crew snack cups. They come like this, but basically you get 12 of these little cups, which are just perfect for ice cream. They're screaming ice cream sundaes to me, so I'm sure that's what I will use them for, but obviously the possibilities are endless. You could also make really, really cute little take-home goodie bags with these and fill them with a bunch of candy. And then you have the adorable little Franken cat coming out of the jack-o'-lantern and you just open him up and he is going to hold the little cup. It's freaking precious. I almost just said the F word. It's freaking precious. So really, again, you could do so much. You could put cotton candy in here, ice cream in here. Like I said, a little treat bag for the kids. How cute would this be? to do a candy bar and they can go along and pick out what they want and put it in here on their way home. I don't know what I'm gonna use those for yet, but I know I'm gonna be happy that I have them. Okay, and the last few things I have are also for kids. Again, great for goodie bags or 
as a craft time for your kids. So this could be for a party or just your kids at home. These really adorable, nostalgic looking bracelets that they can make. This one looks like this and it has the vampire. It's a werewolf, I keep calling him a vampire. This one has pink polka dots. This has my daughter Salem written all over it. And it's a little Franken cat. And then there's this really cool one that has the black with the spider webs and the little ghosty. And then I grabbed a set of these little Ghoul Gang mini puzzles. My kids love puzzles. And this theme, I'm telling you, I know it's gonna speak to your soul too because whether you like more gothic things or more whatever it is, if you're a millennial babe, I just feel like the print and the colors that they use, like look at Frankenstein's face, it's just gonna speak to you. It should trigger something in you that takes you back in time. And that is always what I'm looking for in life. All right, my loves, that wraps up the halfway to Halloween video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you are feeling like I'm feeling because I'm like exploding inside with Halloween happiness right now. I hope just seeing these things and our colors and our characters are putting you in the best mood. Let me know down below what your favorite item was and what your plans are for half a week and how are you celebrating. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.